Okay, let's start here. Hi everyone, Syndra here. Welcome back to Fire Emblem the Sacred Stones. Chapter 13 with Erica as we give this another go. Cormag just showed up. I've moved just about everybody else back. <laughs> so Cormag just doesn't decide, hey, I feel like going this way for the first time ever. So Cormag should show up somewhere around here. And Erica will be able to talk to him. Cause she'll be able to move up and talk to him no problem i also have tana back here just in case the enemies try to block erica tana can clear the way no problem i'm also going to take this turn to move franz up just in case i need him that is how this is going to go i just moved everybody else away basically so no matter where he decides to go, Erica will be able to talk to him. All the other reinforcements have shown up. And I also stole the red gem a turn earlier, which was nice. So Calm's already on his way back here, which is good. Alright, that's going to do it for this turn. Let's see where Cormag moves. You attack Erica, but that's okay. Alright, you all are going to attack Seth, who actually beat you and the other one will of course throw his javelin so we have that to look forward to I'm not that worried about Seth's health because he has an elixir on him Garrick a little more worried but hopefully he'll dodge some of these and he has a vol on him so he'll be okay he can use that to heal if he needs to Oh, Garrick's got this one. Good. Done. Move that way. There's Cormag. Like I said, this guy's going to throw his javelin. You're going to throw your javelin, which is annoying. Okay, now we can do this. Talk to Cormag. We've seen this conversation already. You can just press start to skip, by the way. Alright, now we've got to take care of the enemies over here. In two turns. <laughs> like I said, we're not through with the surprises here yet. Now, Cormag, although Erica takes her turn to talk to Cormag, 
Cormag does get a turn himself, so that's helpful. Also, I can continue to bring uh, Nimi this way. Bye! It gets rid of you. Okay, things are looking much better. <laughs> much better. <laughs> I want Garrick to get rid of this guy. Not quite. You'll have... Hopefully you'll hit. Good. Get rid of you. And Seth needs to get rid of... This javelin user. There you go. Good. Now. Uh, yeah, sure, he'll taunt for EXP. <laughs> we want to kind of clear clear the enemies out here. Cormag is going to take care of the other Wormen Rider. Because that's a thing he can do. And we're not going to use up the Killer Lance. We'll just use the Steel Lance. Uh, give Cormag an Iron Lance. That way he doesn't lose the speed that he has. Um, his stats are a little different. <laughs> Uh, that can happen because they, uh, right, because he just had two resistance. Because he comes in as an enemy, uh, I think his stats could be a little random. Just a few points different. Because I think he just had two res and 14 defense. So he lost defense but gained a res. Um, that's something that could happen. But his stats will virtually be the same. Yeah, it'll be really close. Um, sometimes that happens, sometimes it doesn't. Depending on Fire Emblem games. Uh. Yep, bye! And Tana can hit any of them because she flies. And Franz gains a level! Level 17! Strength, speed, luck, resistance. Hey, res! That's not terrible now. Um. Yep, that works for me. Bye! <laughs> you don't even get a chance to do damage. <laughs> ah, that worked out. Go here. And... Uh, mm. Uh, wait there. You might get a hand axe thrown at you, Natasha. And if you do, I will make sure you're healed up. Oh, miss. There we go, Garrick. Yeah, Iron Blade's not the easiest thing to hit with. <laughs> Has a low hit percentage on it. Oh, you're just going to attack Garrick. Oh, that's right. You don't have a hand axe. I got rid of the one that had a hand axe because he was annoying. <laughs> Erica gains another level. Level 16. HP, skill, luck. Nah, that could have been better. Okay, now. We need to do some preparation here. Stand here. I'm gonna need your sheer punching power, so go ahead and exit. <laughs> One shot will not be enough. Uh, here. Wait, wait. Wait up in the mountains, and Tana will wait there. I need to heal 
Erica. That's what I was doing. Doing this for. Heal Erica! We go. Anybody else? Oh, I need to heal Cormac. This is going to get dicey. Should be fun! <laughs> Garrick is going to use a full after I equip him with his iron sword. Get 10 HP back. And which one of you has a javelin? You do! Love Paladin's move of eight. So useful. You! Tired of the javelin. <laughs> Tink! Love that sound! It means no damage. Don't like it when one of. Uh, it happens to one of my characters. Calm! <laughs> well, you had a chance of surviving, but Seth said no. <laughs> Tom attacked an, I'm, uh, an armor knight and did no damage, so. That happened off screen. <laughs> Garrett gets a level. Level 15. HP, skill, defense. Sweet, got defense. Nice. Oh, you do less damage now. And I'll Volinary again, and then the enemies can just just fail. You're going to throw your javelin, of course. Two of the enemies will fall. Because I'll attack again. Okay, is everybody here how I want them? That's the question. <laughs> if you can't guess, something's going to happen over here. <laughs> I'm kind of giving it away by having most of the force back here, but what exactly happens might surprise you. <laughs> This is why we have voles, so we can heal like that when there's not a healer around. Um, you have the javelin one. Seth can just wait here. Seth doesn't need the exp, so I don't care about blocking one of these. Really, I shouldn't care about blocking one of them anyway, but because it would help out. Do you have a vulnerary? No. And I can't really put you in a good place to heal you. Oh, you can take Tana's. Yeah, do that. Take Tana's. Use. And then Tana can take it back. And equip probably the Iron Lance. <laughs> That's probably what I'll end up using. Killing Edge. Or I could use the Shamshir. But Shamshir might do the trick. I think this'll work. Oh yeah, you have the steel bow. Work. Iron bow. Alright! <laughs> now we get another really fun turn. After turn 8... Wow, one of them ran, and the other one attacked. That's interesting. <laughs> you throw your javelin again. This happens! Other Pablo, there's fighting ahead. <clears throat> I've misread the situation. I can't believe I've been forced out of Carcino. It's those accursed Frelian knights riding down on us from the north. If things don't change quickly, I'll be forced to appeal to Grotto for aid. We must prove ourselves worthy allies of Grotto. We must have them in our debt. First, I'll use my magic to bury those enemies in the distance. He is not lying about that. 
So, welcome to the next phase of this fight. This fight really happens in three really big phases. You have the first phase, where uh, you have the initial swarm of enemies. Then you have the, after the fourth turn, where a large amount of reinforcements show up. And you have to deal with that, and then deal with Cormag, get him on your team. And then after that last turn you saw, where this happens. Pablo's here! Remember him? Level 9 Sage? I think he was a level 9 Sage back then too. I don't think his stats change either. He has roughly the same stats. So, low defense, really high resistance, enough magical power to uh, really hurt you. This time, he's packing a Men's Staff, an Elfire Staff, and a Purge Tome. He is a Sage. He can use Light Magic. The Purge Tome is the uh, long-range Light Magic. It's B-ranked. It has a range of 3 to 10, so while he can't use it up close, he could definitely use it from far away to do a ton of damage. It has a Might of 10. Luckily, he can't uh, double with it. It has a Weight of 20. <laughs> he loses 13 speed. His speed becomes basically zero. Every unit's going to double him while he has it equipped. The thing is that uh, he will probably get a swing with it. And it can hurt. It also has a small chance to crit, which uh, could really ruin your day if somebody has awful uh, crit defense. So there's that. He starts with the Elfire Tome equipped, sadly, so you can't just cheese him by rushing up to him like I'm going to do right now. But we want to get rid of him. He also brought a couple of mages with him with Fire Tomes. Iron Sword, Iron Sword Mercenary. Iron Axe, Iron Axe and a Hand Axe. Iron Axe. There is also a Warrior here, which is the upgrade of the Fighter class. This guy has a Sword Slayer and a Hand Axe with the Sword Slayer, uh, Sword Slayer equipped. Be careful, Marissa. But that's not what this is all about. This is all about this guy. This is why Calm has to rush back. This guy has a Poison Axe, which is annoying. He has a Body Ring I want to steal. Increases Constitution by two points. This is one of the very few ways to upgrade Constitution. Constitution can't be upgraded when you level. So Amelia has a Constitution of 9. When you class change, your Constitution typically goes up. So you'll get more Constitution that way. But that's the only way. You can't level up and hope, hey, does Constitution proc? Because it never will. There's not. It doesn't go up. This body ring, however, will give a unit two points of constitution, which is really useful. It will make the unit harder to rescue, because they'll have higher constitution. You can only rescue somebody with, uh... You can rescue somebody with your constitution minus one. Units with lower cons can be rescued. So eight of nine. Which will make the unit harder to be rescued. But I don't really worry about that. I love having higher constitution because that means they could use heavier weapons. Erica doesn't have one on her. They could use heavier weapons with less speed penalty. Just really, really helpful. I would like to have this. <laughs> and Calm is going to steal it. Oh, somebody has to take a turn to... Didn't think about that. Do you have an empty... Yes. Remember, you have to have a free spot. I knew I was forgetting something. Take that. Wait there. Okay. The goal here is to wipe out as many of them as possible, have Calm steal the body ring, and then hope for the best. How well do you do against Timtana? That is not bad. If you use the Slim Lance, you have a 3% chance to crit. I should have given the Killer Lance to Tana. Didn't think about that. Hmm. 
Melio also has some resistance. Alright, let's get started. Things need to start falling, so... Let's start... You have a hand axe, so let's get rid of you. Hopefully. Good dodge. One, two. Because all the other enemies are going to attack Kong. Because he has no defense. Level up! Level 13! HP, strength, skill! More strength. Jeez. <laughs> That's right, but man. So much strength. Um... Could take care of the mage. Nope, we don't want that. <laughs> we don't want that for sure. Um, that's not bad. Marissa can't attack this guy. She can't get rid of this one. Let's do that. Bye. As I'll go ahead and use a use of the Shamshir. Level up for Marissa. Level 11. HP, strength. She's got strength! Awesome. I'm probably going to shoot you. <laughs> Actually, how well does Nami do against the boss? Ugh, that's a lot of damage. I don't like that. We'll shoot you. Get rid of the Sword Slayer. One, two. Okay, got a hand axe. And Calm is going to be right here and steal the body ring. Mine. Okay. 15 times two. Oh, so good, Amelia. Eight chance to crit. Either way, you have a 100% chance to hit with the sword. That'd be 26. Do you one-shot him after that? You do. All right, that's how we're going to play it then. Uh, I've got more money than you've ever seen. What say you? Join me and take a seat of power at my side. No. No. Okay. And Tana is going to get rid of Pablo here. Bye. Ah, it can't be. I. You can't have my gold. It's all. My. Being a high level class change unit, Tano will just gain a level. HP, strength, skill, luck. <laughs> it continues. I know she only has nine defense. I will feed her the dragon shield. That is fine. Her other stats have just been amazing. Um. There are six enemies left, and only three people are going to get to swing. Not great. Erica has to go up here. We have to get rid of somebody. The mage. Dodge hit. The Iron Sword broke, but now she has a Rapier equipped, so that's fine. I'm not worried about the Poison Axe. It doesn't do enough damage to be scary. We'll get rid of the other mage. And... You don't kill. Ugh, terrible hit percentages. Um Won't 
just have to survive a turn. Hit! Okay! That's all of that. That's really all I needed to do. I think we'll be alright. Garrett, Garrett has a lot to deal with. <laughs> There's a lot going on down here. But the main thing is the boss at this point. I've got everything I needed. I really wanted the body ring. That was something that I wanted. If we attack with the heavy spear... 48, 26 damage. With the rune sword, 9 times 2... So you do double, but I would stand here... And do 9 times 2 from a distance... Because it hits resistance. Uh, I didn't go over this about the rune sword. Uh, when you use it from a distance, you don't get your full strength. You get strength divided by two. I forgot to go over that. Um, so you get so Seth would get nine strength added to the might, which is twenty-one. But it hits resistance at that point. If you're in melee range, it still counts as a physical attack. It only counts as a magical attack from ranged, like so. So there you go. So what I would do, I would actually do this. Heavy spear. You would switch to I guess the sword slayer. I would try to get rid of you in one go, basically. I would do this. Armor slayer. I may just try to end this map now, that way nothing bad happens over here. <laughs> of course, if I miss, that puts Garrick in a really bad spot. Let's go for it. It's not over yet. Victory still hangs in the balance. The key is defeating the enemy commander, but... That is true. That is a big key. Good dodge, Garrick! Yes! And you hit twice. Awesome. Seventy-eight. Seventy-eight either way. So we'll just use the heavy spear. Thank you, Seth! And that ends the map. Very impressive. You've pierced the battle formations I'd perfected. No one's ever done that. Rainus' tactician has earned my highest regard. Well fought, Ayas. Well fought. Level up! Eight! HP strength! Okay. More strength for Seth. Oh, we can... Well, we could send the uh, Night Crest, of course. When you beat Ayas, that ends the... That ends the map. The map will also end if uh, the turns run out. But uh, don't end the map too early because you want to get Cormag and try to snag the Body Ring if you can, too. Because it is... Uh, it is helpful. Rusted Knights! No! All troops, retreat at once! We had this, it's fine. Forward the lances! Show them the might of Rostin! The Knights of Rostin! Just as Larachelle said. <sighs> Reinforcements have arrived in Jehenna! What I'd like to know is what took them so long! <sighs> However, it seems that all has worked out in the end. Princess, Knights of Rostin, 2nd Battalion, reporting for duty. Well done. You may lift your eyes. Princess? Laura Shell, you're a... What? Oh, you mean... Don't be silly. This is nothing. 
please, don't concern yourself. I do believe, milady, that your disguise has been penetrated. Yeah. Oh, I suppose there's not to be done about it now. Very well, Erica. You've found me out. The beauteous wanderer who's been your boon companion is none other than... The jewel of the bureaucracy of Roston, Princess Larachelle herself. I was acting under divine order to strike down evil in this land. Huh. Is that so? But why did you... The truth is, Princess was inflamed by the words of the court troubadour, Saga. She forced us to allow her to journey forth anonymously on a quest for justice. I... I see. Princess, this is from King Manson. Yay! Like an allowance. <laughs> but no, what it really is, is... War funds? Oh, what a grand uncle! He's just so thoughtful! Very much so. That gold will really come in handy. Princess Erica of Freinus, Rostin will not yield to Grotto. Together, let us defeat the Empire in the name of righteousness! Princess Erica, Prince Innes, I have received word from the front. The palace of Jehenna was attacked by Grotto forces and has surrendered. What? How did that... And the Queen? Is she safe? That remains unknown. She may yet live. We must hurry. The palace has already been occupied by Imperial troops. The Grotto army is being led by... Leon. The Imperial Prince. Leon? What is it, Erica? It's nothing. Leon. And that brings chapter 13 of Erica's route to a close. Uh, now would be... Well, no, now is not the right time to go over it. But uh, <laughs> uh, there'll be some preparation things that I'll be doing for chapter 14 and beyond. So thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Hope you had a lot of fun. Yes, Larishelle is actually the princess of of uh, Rustin, which is why she knew that reinforcements were coming and why she thought what took them so long. <laughs> she has every right to ask that, <laughs> giving her, given her status. So uh, I always like that. I think it's really cool that she's actually the uh, princess of Rustin, but it's just been going under this guise of just a wanderer. But uh, she's still about uh, the you know, righteous, and we're not going to yield to Grotto. She's just a great character. <laughs> she really is. Um, next time, we will continue on our journey. Again, thanks for watching. Hope you had a lot of fun. That is a tough map for Erica. So, especially if you try to grab everything uh, like I like to do, grab the Red Gym for the little extra funds. It'll, it'll help because there's uh, something really neat coming up. So you'll see that a couple of episodes from now. And the extra funds will help. You also get the 5,000 gold uh, from uh, the uh, King of Rostin. So that helps. Uh, Given to La uh, Rochelle as war funds. So that helps you out. And that's about everything. So I'm Cinderella 9. Remember to shoot for the stars and take care, everyone.